So we have to say that these relations did not normalize uh, without a reason. There are many new geopolitical chains in the region of the Middle East, which actually forced Turkey and Israel to work with each other if they are clever. And uh, both states showed that they are ready to be realistic and to work for the interests of their own people. And here, from a Turkish perspective, as you have asked, the main areas in which Turkey wants to work with Israel is obviously geopolitical security in the Middle East regarding uh, the continuous threat from Iranian-based Shia militias in Syria and in Iraq, as well as economical ties. And Turkey obviously wants to work with Israel in the Eastern Mediterranean, in which a cooperation between Turkey and Israel, as well as a cooperation together with Egypt, will benefit all of the countries in the Eastern Mediterranean, from ranging from Egypt up until the north to Turkey. And therefore, the Turkish position is quite clear. Turkey wants to normalize relations with Israel, and the appointment of the Israeli ambassador now to Turkey, received by President Erdogan, is the final act in diplomatic normalization. And I expect that from up until now, we will see that the relations will go on like they did in the uh, period before the relations broke down. Yes, I was a, a member of a delegation of Israeli journalists who were actually invited to Ankara earlier this year as part of the Turkish efforts uh, to uh, establish those ties uh, with Israel. But, you know, one point that has for so many years have been a difficult point between the two countries was the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, this conflict show, obviously shows no signs of being resolved. How will Erdogan swallow the next possible armed conflict here? Uh, can he perhaps let go of the rhetoric that has angered Israel so much in the past? So we have to say that, first of all, we have to hope that the Israeli-Palestinian issue will be resolved uh, peacefully through negotiations. But unfortunately, the realities on the ground indicate, as you say, that there might be a new military escalation. So in order to see how the Turkish side will uh, may react this time, we have to uh, remember two main dynamics. The first is how the Turkey uh, react in the last uh, area of escalation which happened. We have seen that the Turkish side was quiet uh, and tried to remain neutral and that the statements were not made as they were made before, and the tone was reduced. Secondly, a much important aspect is always the intense of uh, escalation. So whenever the escal escalation is too intense, we also see that European Union and United States of America also sometimes uh, articulate their uh, criticism to the Palestinian and to the Israeli side. And I think that Turkey will try to work in a similar accord with these nations, as Turkey does not want uh, to uh, break its relationship with the Palestinian side. And Turkey is one of the states like European Union and the United States of America who believe in a two-state solution.